Welcome to Super User TV and thanks for coming to talk to us about the Enterprise Path to Cloud booklet. So let's start, Tyler, I want to ask you, what, what was uh, some of the genesis for making this booklet? Well, I think there's uh, challenges a lot of companies have while they're trying to figure out you know, their cloud strategies, they move forward, um, you know, learning about things like OpenStack, and then once they even make that decision of this, this makes sense, it's, it's open and, and it's where they want to go, where do they go from there? You know, whether, they, whether it's people requirements, who they should be partnering with, what type of approaches. Uh, it's a, a conversation that a lot of us have had constantly, so we said, hey, maybe we should get this down on paper, it'd be, uh, be a great resource. So Leong, you led the enterprise work, working group team through a sprint in building this. Tell us a little bit more about what's inside the booklet. So inside this booklet, right, we generally talk more about, I mean, helping, helping the enterprise understand how to bring OpenStack into their environment. So we talk about, I mean, a different strategies of whether you want to consider private cloud strategies or public cloud strategies or the hybrid strategies. And because in OpenStack, there are also multiple choices, right? So you can choose whether you want to do DIY solution or go for vendor distributions or even do a, a managed manage cloud support, right? And we also talk about, I mean, if you choose different path, right? And what kind of engineering resources or manpower or skill set that require for you to help you to achieve your goal. And we also talk about um, how do you move from a pilot, from how do you move from the uh, deployment strategy from um, POC into pilot or into, into the production. So those are the things we talk about in this booklet. Great. So Tyler, as you were developing that, <laughs> that can you give us any insight into some of the fun that you had with the sprint or some of the things that you wrestled with during the sprint? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was really great to have a lot of different perspectives. You have people from uh, on the customer enterprise side like Intel to distribution partners to managed partners like us like Blue Box and Rackspace and just getting all those different perspectives in the room at the same time, we were expect. I think we were expecting a lot more, uh, a lot more arguments, but there was a lot of violent uh, agreement happening. Um, once we got all the information down, it was, it was a really great process to bring everyone together. So, Leong, I understand that this book is flying off the shelves, so to speak. That a lot of people want to get their hands on it. What, what's some of the feedback you're hearing on it, or that you've heard on it since it was released? I think that's great. I mean, a lot of people give me the good feedback. Basically, I mean, there's still a lot of people asking me questions like. What is OpenStack? I mean, why we want to choose OpenStack? And how to implement OpenStack? And this book booklet basically just helped them to answer those questions. And it's available as an ebook, as a Mobi format. You can read it on your Kindle, on your phone, on your computer, and you can also um, get it online. Just get a print copy. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the Enterprise Work Group because I understand you built a business perspective strategy book, the why of OpenStack, now you have the how of OpenStack. Yeah. Leong, tell us more about what does the Enterprise Work Group try to do? So the main objective for the Enterprise Work Group, we try to identify and remove the barriers of I mean, um, enterprise adoptions of OpenStack. So we work closely with the foundations to share the user stories and to publish white paper or the e-books and share those experiences with the enterprise to help them to understand more about OpenStack. And we try to collect information from different sources, including from vendors, from uh, enterprise customers, from the end user, from the operators, to understand what is their pain point and what, is that, what are their challenges and help them to solve these things and bring it to OpenStack. So lastly, um, knowing that your sprint was just about a day when, you, when a lot of this content was created, um, what kind of, what things would you tell other colleagues uh, to encourage them to be part of a future sprint to contribute their knowledge? I think it's just a great experience to be able to collaborate with a lot of different people in the community and uh, you know, get a lot of new perspectives and meet new people and, and all new ideas that come off of those sessions too. Not just the original work product that you were trying to put together, but new ideas for new books or other projects or sessions for Next Summit, things like that. And the collaboration meeting is so nice because we actually produce a lot of content in, in, within one day and later on we actually have to figure out how do we cut down the content. Well, Tyler, thank you for contributing. Leong, thank you so much for leading the charge to build the Enterprise Path to Cloud booklet with the Enterprise Work Group. Thanks. Thank you.